The family of a 28-year-old man shot and killed by Edmonton police earlier this summer are launching an over $1 million lawsuit against police chief Dale McPhee and the officers involved. Edmonton police filing a statement of defense late last week seeking a dismissal. According to a statement of facts in the September 12th court filing, Edmonton police say they were called to a single vehicle collision involving an impaired driver who left the scene in the city's northeast. Police say it was 28-year-old Matthias Arcangelo. An officer found him blocks away in a nearby neighborhood. Security camera footage from the area shows Arcangelo walking around the northeast Edmonton neighborhood when a police officer pulls up and gets out of his vehicle with his weapon drawn. EPS say Arcangelo took out a pocket knife and opened it, refusing to comply with police orders. Footage shows the officer firing multiple shots at Arcangelo, who then falls to the ground. Moments later, other officers arrive on the scene and begin first aid. The lawyer representing the Arcangelo family telling City News he takes issue with the way the facts are described by police and that officers involved in the shooting aren't named in the court documents. This officer feared imminent death or grievous bodily harm. That, I think, to any, any Edmontonian who has watched the video, that would be absurd for him to feel that way. They know from the videos that the family has, has uh, uh, published that he took it out of his pocket, right facing the officer, opened it up and held it dangling from his outstretched hand. They know that. So that's not how they describe it. Edmonton police have received a flurry of controversy over the video. At Thursday's police commission meeting, police faced questions over the shooting and criticism that the officer involved in the shooting is back on the job in a public-facing role. Edmonton Police Chief Dale McPhee telling the commission Thursday in a virtual meeting, Arcangelo's death is a tragedy but says Alberta's provincial police watchdog should handle the investigation. And it's essential that any public story is treated in a manner that considers the entire context of the situation rather than made from social media or fodder. Engel says a provincial investigation could take up to two years, telling me Arcangelo's family can't wait that long to hold like the police accountable who shot Matthias, saying the family wants to know the names of the officers. The vast majority of, uh, of ACERT investigations into shooting deaths do not result in criminal charges. And that includes when they think that there ought to be criminal charges. And that's because the Crown Prosecution Service won't prosecute it. This one here, this is different. To me, it's painfully obvious this is a criminal offense. Reporting from Edmonton, Darcy Ropchan, City News.